Hi, this is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing with our weight loss vlog. Today, we are going to discuss a new study on long-term safety of phentermine. It's very exciting. I think that this will be very helpful for those of you who are interested in discussing this with your physician or your provider. Uh, the FDA has approved phentermine for three months all by itself. Um, it is approved for longer use when used in combination with topiramate as brand name Qsimia. Um, it has gone through a lot of study. It got a bad reputation way back when it first came out in the combination of fen-fen. Uh, why was that? Because the second fen was fenfluramine, and fenfluramine caused valve problems. Fentermine does not, and so, but by association, it, a lot of people are reluctant to use it. Well, it, they had to go through a lot of uh, uh, study to show that it was safe when it got approved for Qsimia, but nobody has studied it all by itself, so the FDA still keeps it at three months. Uh, they haven't changed anything on it. Well, a group uh, pu published this in the journal Obesity. Um, it is observational data. And they followed people in several very large groups, so Kaiser Permanente, Denver Health, and Health Partners. And they wanted to see, um, was there a difference in both in weight loss in groups that use it for only three months, that used it intermittently for anywhere from six to 12 months, and then they had a group of 12-month continuous use uh, of phentermine, and they followed those people. So this was very interesting. And um, these are the breakouts, if you will. Um, the colors are the short term. The red is the three-month use. Um, and then the, the colors in between here, the orange and the light green, are intermittent use. And then this darker color all the way out is long-term continuous use, so 12 months of continuous use. And these are the data points at six months, at 12 months, and at 24 months. And you can see that actually by the time you get out to 24 months, the group that only used it for three months, they're like back to their baseline, which is unfortunate. Uh, but the group that used it for continuous loss, continuous uh, use, they're down 7.5%, which is really good weight loss. That's wonderful. So, and then is an even more interesting little thing. Um, there are some people who just don't seem to respond. Now, it's unclear whether or not that's because they haven't changed their behavior or there's some other issue in play, but they pulled out the people from the study and kind of um, pulled them out of the numbers that did not respond and did a separate data set for people that responded. So if you were one of the people that had a response, even initially uh, to phentermine, they, they took those people, people and showed their data um, pulled out. And look at this, if you follow these people out, they had even a, in the three month only, they had a more robust response which was sustained. So, you know, it's unclear whether this was um, what this was related to behavior or other medical problems but the group that had the 12 month sustained uh, continuous use of phentermine if you follow them out 24 months out they had lost over 10 percent uh, which is really really good weight loss that is wonderful and then the punchline in all of this the really important part is that they looked for adverse outcomes and it was what we call composite, meaning they looked at um, two things, cardiovascular disease and death. So, and there was no difference between the groups. So if you used it for only three months or if you used it 12 months straight, there was no difference in bad outcomes. And I think this is very reassuring. So if, um, if you think that uh, this is an option for you and perhaps maybe uh, either some you it's hard sometimes I, physicians and providers who are not familiar with phentermine are often reluctant to uh, prescribe it for more than three months it is a controlled substance um, it is FDA approved for only three months so you have to have good documentation and good reason to write it for more than that but when you have people who are suffering as many of you may have 
from diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, is the best thing in the world to have the weight come down and be able to take people off medications for all these other problems that were related to their to their weight. So um, I really encourage you, especially if you have these you know issues that include you know, problems related to the weight that it's very nice to be able to have the weight come down and then be able to come off some of these medications. All of this must be discussed with your provider or your physician. They are the ultimate decision. Do not try to go buy fentramine online. Don't try to go to some um, buddy who's just selling it indiscriminately, who's not monitoring you, because you should be monitored. You should have somebody checking your heart rate, your blood pressure, your weight, um, every month on fentramine. It's a controlled substance. So don't take that lightly. Um, but that being said, we use a lot of medications in medicine that we have to juggle risk with. This is very reassuring because this shows that when we compare it to people who use it three months versus 12 months, there's no difference in outcomes. Um, so I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, you're doing great. Remember, every day is a new day. So set yourself up every day to succeed. Don't get discouraged and keep up the good work. Uh, if you have ideas for uh, videos, if you have like a question and you think I could make um, answer it, then uh, feel free. I do try to look and see if if somebody puts a question that I think I can answer in video format, then I figure other people have that question. So uh, feel free to do that. And um, great. You guys are doing great. Okay. Thank you.